let's hit on quickly the next steps if Jim Harbaugh were to leave. I mean, I think you you as quick as you can, you know, I, I think it's gonna end up being Sharon Moore, you know, probably 99% chance. Obviously, you take a look around, you know, you may get some calls come in. So you have to go through, you know, a pretty quick process. But I would think the quicker the better uh to promote Sharon Moore and then also try to hire a staff around him and, and have him do that, but support him in that process. And that includes keeping as many coaches from this current staff that you can. The coordinator hires would be very, very big. Obviously, uh, it's a little early to you know exactly say who those would go to, but we're seeing it right now at Washington and Alabama. And just by the nature of the new college football calendar, where if a coach leaves and you have a coaching change, their players can transfer out for 30 days. But as you sit here in mid-January, because Alabama played in the CFP, Washington played in the national title game, and Michigan played in the national title game, and their coach would be leaving for the NFL, which is on a different timeline than college, then you have this 30-day window where your guys can come out. They can leave and enter the portal, but there aren't that many options right now in the portal because semester the semester has started elsewhere. Guys wanted to enroll early. And, uh, you know, even saw with, with your article, A.B., on the transfer portal options at quarterback. They're all, not all that great right now. Um, and that would be something that, you know, we could potentially see in the spring period. But I say that to say you, you solidify the coaching staff and really do that also to help solidify the roster because that's really important. Alabama, over 20 players in the portal right now. Their fans are going crazy, losing their minds. Caleb Downs is in. Isaiah Bond is in. Looks like he is going to go to Texas. Uh, and then Washington is at nearly 20 players, but they had a ton of guys as well out of eligibility. And that roster has been, you know, pretty much completely decimated at this point with Jed Fish coming in. Uh, so those would be the next steps, I think, is is kind of get a change as, as quick as you can, promote Sharon Moore, work on the staff and work like crazy to keep the players on the roster. Yeah, that's I think that's one play. That's one area where I think Michigan has a leg up over. Alabama making a coaching change, Washington making a coaching change is that, you know, Alabama going from Nick Saban to Kalen DeBoer, that's a massive shift in terms of personality. I, I assume scheme to a certain extent. I mean, that that's huge. Um, and then Jed Fish to Washington, like obviously another outside hire, you know, with Sharon Moore. And I think a lot of these guys are self-aware and a lot of these guys coming back have been through the Jim Harbaugh stuff over the last two years. I, and I'm not sick. That's not to say there wouldn't be some turnover. There wouldn't be some guys that would leave. Uh, I think it's it would be naive to think that nobody would leave. And I think uh, teams would try to poach as well, which would be ridiculous. Yeah. But but well, I think that, that was already going on. That, right, it is, and that would be almost their biggest issue, in my opinion. Because you're right, they people, you know, when they were sitting down with Harbaugh to make their those decisions, like they did last week, I think he was probably pretty honest with them about what the next couple of weeks were going to look like and that there's no guarantee that he was going to be here. So I, I think they probably understand that part of it. So they wouldn't be totally blindsided by it, but the poaching and, you know, just the everyone in their ear during that time, I think could get to some guys. So locking it down would be, you know, locking down Sharon Moore and then, you know, making sure that you keep the roster intact would be of utmost importance because if you are going to go with Sharon Moore, which I think even if you look nationally might be the right move, one of the biggest reasons why it would be for continuity. So you have to make sure you, you know, you get that continuity, you know, pretty much immediately here so they can keep things going. And then that'll help him in the years to come as well. Yeah. I'll tell you what my next step would be uh, if Jim Harbaugh leaves. And I know that there's been a lot of NFL interest with this guy too. Uh, I haven't heard his name pop up anywhere yet, but there's a lot of coaching turnover still to sort out. I'm making Jesse Minter the highest paid defensive coordinator in college football. I think the Blake Baker, who just got hired at, I think, LSU, we looked that up here, uh, is going to make about $2.5 million next year. I I pay Jesse Minter more of that. I, I sell this as it's Sharon Moore and Jesse Minter's show. Now, obviously, Sharon Moore will be the head coach. Um, but if you're – this is the thing, too, is that if it's not Jim Harbaugh, don't let them cry poor about paying your coaching staff. They will have the arsenal to pay whoever they need to pay to keep this, not only the staff intact, but also go out, go out and get something or get probably have an extra five, 6 million. Cause you don't have to pay Sharon yeah. Moore, you know, 11 or 12. Right. Yeah. Um, and I won't speculate on what Sharon Moore would make. I, I don't even have an idea of what that would look like, but um, you know, that's, that's to me, I think 
if it is Sharon Moore, the next biggest, the next highest priority is, hey, can you even keep Jesse Minter for one more year? One more year fund for Jesse Minter, right? Uh, a lot of guys from that defense this year are back next year. And I think that if you're going to win football games, if you're going to win a lot of football games next year, your defense is going to have to do it for you. Um, well, it's probably a little more than this year's defense did. Not to say they'll be as good or as dominant, but I think that defensively, that side of the ball is uh, is going to be what keeps you in this conversation next year. So that's my immediate next step. Um, it sounds like, again, this is based on rumblings and, and what Chris put on the board on Wednesday night. Like It sounds like they'd be able to keep Ben Herbert, which is also huge. Uh, I think that huge if it is Jim, you know, if Jim Harbaugh does leave, Jesse Minter is the biggest priority. Ben Herbert, probably priority 1B. Uh, from there, we'll see what happens. Um, and then you figure out the roster from there. Uh, I think that a lot of these guys, like you said, probably had a pretty solid idea of what could happen, uh, are prepared for both scenarios. There could be some, there will be some guys that leave because that's just how it is. Uh, but really, um, you look at the transfer portal at quarterback, you know, with Talia Tagovailoa, that not going to get that waiver. He's going to the NFL draft now. It pretty much leaves you with Will Rogers, um, Jordan McLeod, and a bunch of circus peanuts. No offense to any of those other guys. But um, it's almost just like you let the spring play out and decide from there because you are going to have that window in the spring to uh, to add guys. And even we've seen them before. You think back to uh, Iabi Oki a few years ago. They added him 15 days before the season started. You don't so, want to add a quarterback 15 days. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Uh, just like you know, I know what you mean. Right. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what happens. But, There's going to be uh, time. Yeah, there will be. That's will what's be so hard about it is because guys aren't in right now, but your guys would be leaving potentially. Now, I do think Michigan would be able to avoid being completely decimated like Washington and Alabama have, but uh, that would be interesting to, to see. So those would be the next steps. Um, so we will uh, continue to monitor that over at thewolverine.com.